Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 16th of August 1858, Queen Victoria sent the first telegram using the newly installed transatlantic telegraph cable to US President James Buchanan. The electrical telegraph had first been conceived in the early 19th century, but it wasn't until the late 1830s that commercial systems began to gain traction. The importance of fast messaging systems grew alongside the rapid expansion of the railways, and by the 1840s, engineers had begun experimenting with ways to transmit messages across the sea using submarine cables. One of the first challenges was in finding a material that could sufficiently insulate the cable and stop the electrical current dissipating in the surrounding water. Using a thick cable coated with gutta percha, the non-conductive sap of the palanquium gutta tree, an undersea link was successfully laid between Britain and France in 1850. At the time, it took 10 days for a message to travel between North America and Europe by ship, so efforts soon intensified to connect the continents by telegraph. In 1856, St John's and Nova Scotia were joined by a cable, and later that year the Atlantic Telegraph Company was created to lay the first transatlantic link. The cable weighed 550 kilograms per kilometre and could withstand enormous forces, but the first few attempts to lay the cable on the seabed resulted in it breaking. The connection was eventually completed in August 1858, and after several tests that included a message from the directors of the Atlantic Telegraph Company in Britain to their counterparts in America, the first transatlantic telegraph was sent by Queen Victoria to President Buchanan. Contemporary reports state that the 98-character message of congratulations took 16 hours to send and decipher, but this still made it the fastest system of transatlantic communication that had ever existed.